Arabs' drought bring past to the surface. The warning could not be starker. When do meet Aish Danwench? If you see me, when weep, reads the grim inscription on a rock in Elb River near the northern Czech town in Dessin, close to the German border. As Europe's river run dry in a devastating drought that scientists say could prove the worst in five hundred years, their receding waters are revealing long hidden artifacts from Roman camps to ghost villages and the Second World War shipwreck. The so-called Hunger Stone at Dessin is one of dozens in Central European rivers engraved to mark their level during historical droughts. And warn future generation of the famine and hardship likely to follow each time they became visible. Czech research in 2013 described the stone as T-shelled in the years of hardships, and the initial of Arthur's loss in history, saying it expressed that drought had brought a bad harvest, lack of food, high price, and hunger for poor people. The earliest readable year on Dessin stone is 1616. Trace of inscription relating to much earlier droughts, including 1417 and 1473, have been large inroads over time. Ten later dry years between 1707 and 1893s are also recorded. Stern reminder of droughts' grim consequences. Most hunger stones are found on the Elbe, which flows from the north of what is known as Czech Republic, through border of Bohemia and then Germany, before reaching the North Sea near Hamburg. Other appear on the Rhine, Danube, and Mosel. One near Bekel in Germany reads: "When this goes under, life will become more colorful again. The Elbe stone, in particular, have appeared more regularly." Notably, during the Central European droughts of 2018, since a dam was built in the 1920s, but they are far from the only archaeology artifacts to have seen the lights of day once more in this year's drought. Italy's longest river, the Parch Po, whose water level is at a 70 years low, has yielded the remain of an ancient hamlet in Piedmont. More recent relics to emerge from the river includes the wreck of Zabello, a 50-meter cargo barge sunk during the Second World War, a Nazi military vehicle, and near Mantua, a 450 kilograms bomb, whose discover and detonations require the evacuation of more than 3,000 people from their homes. In Lombardy, timber building foundation dating back the Bronze Age have risen from the bed of River Agio, while a one hundred thousand years old skull of a deer and remains of hyenas, lions, and rhinos have appeared on dried out parts of Lake Como. In Rome, the receding Tiber has revealed the ruins of a bridge believed to have built during the first century. For Imperial Nero, so he could more easily visit his possessions on the right bank of the river, including the villa of his mother Agrippina. In Siberia, the mighty Dambu has fallen to its lowest level in almost a century, exposing the wreck of more than twenty explosion-filled German warship scuttled during the Second World War near Pravoho, some still with turrets and bridge intacts. Other mostly hidden under the bank. In Switzerland, melting glaciers have revealed more crazy secrets, including two sets of undefined human remains on an old pass crossing the Jensen's Glacier. In the South Cantons of Valais, and in Norway, retreating ice has exposed an Iron Age woolen tunic, a Roman style sandal, and an arrow estimated to be one thousand three hundred years old. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.